Hello there, Greg with Boom Up Engineering. As you can see, I've got a lot of stuff on my desk here, and some of it I want to talk about while it's uh, here and convenient. Uh, it's non-rigging related, more for climbing and arborist work. Um, but I did get a new bit of kit or some gear in the mail the other day and thought I would do a little quick comparison, especially for younger climbers or, you know, climbers just getting started, such as myself. You know, because I've bought a fair, my fair share of gear and, you know, had some successes and, you know, I buy some things I really like and things I don't like so much. You know, going by reviews online is uh, kind of hard sometimes. Um, so let's talk about hooks or tool carriers, things that you would mount to your climbing saddle to, you know, carry ropes and slings and saws and tools and whatever else on your uh, climbing saddle. Um, you know, there's, you know, a couple major brands that make the high quality stuff. I know Petzl has, uh, you know, there's, there's some plastic tool hooks out there for a lot cheaper. But if you're in it for the long haul and want uh, gear to hold up, you know, most of the stuff is made out of aluminum. And uh, one of the most popular uh, carrier out there, hook out there, is uh, perhaps the Rock Exotica Transporter. You know, it's got a premium price, but it is made very well. Um, you know, it just feels good. You know, it's got a satisfying click open and click closed. Uh, I don't know if they all hang open like this. Uh, I think I, I bought two at the same time, and I think the first one, the one that I have been using, it did do this for a while, and then it kind of got to where it doesn't hang open anymore. I don't know if that's a, a flaw or a, you know, a feature or what, but maybe sometimes you would want it open and hang open, and sometimes not. Uh, but anyway, you know, this is a locking carrier. You can lock it closed. I don't know if I would ever need that or want that or it'd be a very rare occasion. Uh, but it does do that. You know, and like I say, this is this is the beast of them all. Probably the most expensive, at least for the normal sized ones. Uh, it's got a clamping plate that positively screws to the, uh, the, the hook. With the, the kit comes with a couple different length screws and you... You literally clamp that to the webbing on your saddle and it can't go nowhere and it's got a wide base so it's pretty stable as well so you you know to, to twist it sideways it's really not going to move that far it's going to be pretty solid on your belt so this this is maybe the, the top tier except that uh, maybe some of the features of it aren't aren't that great you know, next on the list is a DMM vault and this is the wire gate that comes in two different varieties wire gate and it's got this locking gate you can twist lock to lock that thing closed i was sent this one by accident from who i ordered it from they were supposed to send me a wire gate and they sent me this these are more the locking version is more expensive but i'd say i really don't want the locking version just because it the locking uh, arms eats up more space entrance to the hook is not very big you know you got maybe half inch for five eighths of an inch of opening there whereas on the wire gate version you've got noticeably more you know you get a strong three quarter maybe pushing an inch inch of opening there i guess i could measure it but anyway wire gate cheaper plenty good for what you're doing i don't ever see myself needing to lock lock one of these things closed you know, it's just not what I do for climbing and, and how I uh, carry on when I'm doing doing the work in the trees. So, But the locking version exists, but it is more expensive. Now, comparing the two, originally I bought the transporters, but I don't really like the shape of the hook. You can see how this is a very shallow hook here and a very long gate. And there is not much clearance when you have something sitting in the the bowl or the palm of the hook and that is you know if you've got a big rigging sling hooked on there how are you going to open and close the gate now if you got a, a smaller sling in there sure it's fine or some smaller ropes no problem but when you start putting a, trying to fit a bigger sling in there you know this this barely gets it but sometimes it'll get caught up and if you had two two parts in there it's it's not going to open you're going to be jammed jammed closed or barely be able to get it open so I don't again I would shy away from the standard uh, fr from this uh, rock exotica transporter just because the hook is so shallow 
um, that that's all there is to it. it and size wise you can kind of get a I'll try to get you a decent view here kind of hard to hold all this at the same time but the hook is noticeably taller on the DMM you know size wise these things are pretty close this you know this hook here sticks out a little bit less from from in from the from the belt outward but it's not a, not a huge difference I'll, I'll tell you that this one weighs just a little bit more than half the weight of the transporter you know I mean weight adds up a little bit that's not my most major concern but when you can buy two of these for the price of one of these uh, deeper deeper hook for piling more ropes or slings in there or bigger slings it just seems more of a utility to me to have the DMM vault. Now earlier in the year I went to a climbing show and saw a prototype of one of these and go hey maybe that's what I need and so I just got this in the mail the other day the DMM Mega Vault. See Vault Mega Vault. And there is a sizable difference in the two. Um, you know this may not be for everybody but hey I like having a big old hook uh, to uh, like I say throw some big old slings in there you know 10x uh, slings take up a lot of space and if you want to have a couple parts in here hey this is going to do it for you um, this was pretty expensive though this is about twice the price of of one of these it's I don't know what, was it 65 bucks maybe for this maybe even a little bit more I can't remember and I Maybe I got it on sale, but uh, so it seems like a real good hook for for uh, hooking in ropes and slings and things. Uh, it does have a feature of locking the gate open. I don't know if I would necessarily use that. I think they showed hooking a cordless drill in there. Uh, you know, putting the handle of the drill in there, and the battery would or in the body would keep it from sliding through. Obviously, um, yeah, maybe useful if that plastic. Uh, lever broke off I probably wouldn't be too heartbroken because like I said I don't know if I would use it but otherwise it's pretty much other than it having an aluminum cast aluminum gate instead of wire it's pretty much the, the same design you know it's bigger and beefier got the same clamping screw you know you undo this screw here that screws threaded into this uh, stainless uh, steel button so it's it's threads uh, the screw threads into steel instead of aluminum on the DMM uh, but it's got that one pinch bolt and you, you know you pinches your webbing in there so these things are reasonably solid you know they're not just flapping in the breeze but it's not as solid as positively clamping a big plate with four screws down uh, on your on your webbing so anyway that was the biggest thing I want to show here is this uh, DMM Megavolt so that's that's pretty nice I don't I obviously haven't installed it yet uh, but I think I will enjoy having this on the left side of my saddle. I won't use it for my chainsaw or anything, but just slings and ropes and uh, just other miscellaneous stuff. You know, maybe have one big hook over there and a small one. And have my saw hook on the other side. Uh, I usually run, uh, oh, the Shembiner. Is that what those things are called? Let me see. Let's see if I can find one real quick. Yeah, I figured I'd figured I'd get a couple more bits to compare while I'm doing this. Shembiner, I mentioned this is what I I think is the best for for a saw hook. Um, yeah, I guess maybe if you crawled around enough, maybe you get your saw to come off. I don't know. I mean, I've never had that issue. I like the little the little little uh, tip on there to really hold stuff in there, and then a nice place to anchor your saw lanyard. Uh, so in comparison, I mean, you're getting a lot of useful usable. Uh, hook space with the extra large uh, extra large shambiner you know it's simple it's kind of expensive for what it is but it's uh, really gets the job done nicely um, they do make a smaller hook uh, I got on the kids kids harness here there's the uh, I guess the standard size I don't I can't remember if that's what they call it but that's what I have on the kids uh, new tribe uh, climbing belt here standard versus extra large but uh, yeah pretty nice
Good stuff. Anyway, that's about all I got. Catch you guys next time.